Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips to stay motivated during this time and like just some tips to help people to work from home. Um, these things have definitely helped me with my uni work and just making sure that I stay on track during the day and don't get too distracted and also while feeling good and productive and like, yeah just feeling accomplished at the end of the day. So let's get into the video all right so the first thing that is super important to me is making sure that i get a regular wake up time so i like to make sure that i wake up at 7 15 every morning and for me this is the one of the most important things to starting my day um just making sure that every single morning is the same i don't like to fluctuate too much between my wake up time because then i feel like my days get really inconsistent and I can get really lazy. So I would definitely recommend setting just a regular time each morning to wake up. So the next thing that I like to do is make sure that I actually exercise every day. So usually for me, I wake up every morning and I'll do a workout straight after I wake up. Like before I've had breakfast and everything, I'll just make sure that I get it done. Um, some mornings though, this looks a little bit different. Like a couple of mornings ago, I woke up feeling really unmotivated and tired so I just did like a Pilates class in the morning and then I ended up doing more of a hip session later on um, but most days I'll do my morning workout and then I'll try to fit in a walk as well I really love going for walks I live right near a park so I love just being out in nature um, it really helps me just to like reset and just getting that breath of fresh air I feel like is really important and when I come back to sit down and do my work I feel like my mind is clearer and I can concentrate better and it just really really helps me to focus so I definitely recommend trying to get outside even if it's just a 20 minute walk it doesn't really matter how long you go for as long as you get that fresh air I think it's really important I also really love to set out a to-do list before I start doing my work so sometimes I'll do this the night before if I've got things on my mind that I don't want to forget sometimes I'll do this in the morning but just writing everything down and then being able to tick it off during the day is really, really gratifying. Like I'm one of those people who will, even after I've done something, I'll still write it down on my to-do list and cross it off just so I feel like I've done more. So if you've never tried a to-do list before, I definitely recommend it. It helps me so much. Um, if you're not one of those people, then maybe try something else that'll help you get through the day. But just seeing, like crossing things off and then seeing you've only got like one item left or two items left, it really helps me stay motivated. So one of my favorite, favorite things to do is to make myself a hot drink while I'm studying. And I absolutely love drinking coffee. Um, I used to have it with my breakfast all the time, but I feel like it's too heavy having like coffee and breakfast at the same time. So now I've set myself a little like motivation, like reward type thing. I've kind of like Pavlov dogged myself in a way. Um, so what I do is I do a little bit of work in the morning and then I tell myself that once I've done that amount of work, I can go up and get a coffee. Um, so I usually do this probably around like 11, 11.30 in the morning. I'll have already done some work and then I'll get up and I'll go make my coffee. Um, and that honestly helps me so much. And obviously the coffee then boosts my productivity and everything, makes me more energized. Um, so it's one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes though, if it's like later in the afternoon, because I can't have coffee late in the afternoon, otherwise I can't fall asleep at night. But yeah, sometimes if it is a little bit later, I'll make myself a cup of tea. Just something that you can get up and make to help motivate yourself to get back to work afterwards. I found it is really useful for me. Um, another thing that also helps me is I found that if I sit at my desk all day, I get really bored and I end up staring out the window and just getting really really demotivated and also I don't have a really great desk chair so my back and neck get really sore. Um, so especially when I'm taking notes for lectures I found that what really helps is to change up my workspace a bit. So usually I move to the couch in the living room. Um, like not only does this give me a change in scenery but it's also really great for my back. Um, yeah, I should probably invest in a new chair maybe but yeah and then also like my cat usually sleeps on the couch so i can go have a little bit of a cuddle with him but just breaking up your day into different chunks by having different workspaces helps me because i find that as soon as i sit down somewhere new i can refocus because it's almost like i've started my day again and you kind of 
forget how much work you've already done. Not in a bad way, but just in a way that you can get going again. All right, and my last tip is to have a night routine that you can really look forward to. My favorite thing to do once I've ticked off all my things for the day is to just hop into bed and snuggle up and like watch a TV show or read a book or something. So like at the moment, I've been getting into bed and watching normal people because I just finished the book and I'm like halfway through the series and it's so good. But I, that just makes me so motivated to get through my day because I'm so excited to get to the end of the day. But whatever works for you, whether it's like getting to the end of the day and like doing some stretches, some meditation, or just like watching some YouTube, like whatever it is, something that you can look forward to and like after you've done that, um, don't stay up for too late. Like a super important thing is to go to bed at a regular time and that it's not too late. Like you're not gonna be able to get up early every morning and at the same time every morning if you go to sleep at like 12 or one o'clock. So I try to go to sleep between like 10.30 and 11.15. Sometimes I do go to sleep a little bit later than that, but that's the time frame that I try to get to sleep. And that usually helps me to get around eight hours of sleep, which I found is best for me. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know what you do to keep yourself productive. And if any of these tips help you, then please let me know. Thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I really appreciate it if you watch all the way to the end. Um, don't forget to like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all of you guys next week. Bye.